The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Boatest.com. Today, we'll be taking a look at the features and performance capabilities of a small engine with a lot of punch. It's the Evinrude E-Tech 50. We'll be testing this engine on what I think is a perfect mate, roughly a 1,600 pound, 16 foot aluminum boat. Our E-Tech 50 is fitted with a 13 and a quarter by 15 inch four bladed propeller. Our top speed was reached at 5600 RPM and 29.6 miles per hour, where we had a fuel burn of 4.7 gallons per hour that translates to 6.36 miles per gallon in a range of 114 miles. Best Cruise came in at 4000 RPM and 19.2 miles an hour, with a 2.1 gallon per hour fuel burn netting us 9.16 miles per gallon in a range of 165 miles. Time to plane was 3 seconds and we reached 20 miles an hour in 6.4 seconds. With our test weight of 1,580 pounds, I expected that the engine would get bogged down quite significantly in hard turns, but that never manifested itself. This is clearly a little engine with an awful lot of power as the RPMs held up nicely as the boat bled off speed in the turns. I also noticed that there was no time lag on advancing the throttle and power increases followed a nice linear curve. That's our look at the performance capabilities, now let's take a look at some of the key components of this engine. Let's start our tour by taking a look at the E-Tech fuel injection system. Here's an injector off the engine. Evinrude engineers these so that fuel is stored between the nozzle and a check valve at shutdown so that you have easier cold starts. On the back side, we see the fuel inlet and outlet sockets. It basically works like the speaker on your stereo to oscillate a coil to inject fuel in precise measurements. Right here is a vapor separator supplying 30 psi to the fuel injectors. Around the front is the shift and throttle with common linkage architecture. And believe it or not, these linkages will not need adjusting from either the manufacturer, the dealer, or the end user. This is the oil tank and it's designed to hold enough for a minimum of 30 engine hours with the standard XD50 oil before you have to fill it up again. With the premium XD100 oil you can easily double that. The goal was to make it last a season for an average boater. This is the EMM. It's basically the brain of this computer controlled engine. Technically it's the integral ECU and power management system. It has a rectifier regulator that comes in from the stator above, so it creates the 55 volts that the whole system runs on, as well as the 12 volts that does the battery charging. In other words, it's a full onboard engine management system, as well as driving the ignition coil drivers and the fuel drivers. The whole control software is integrated into one package. And the EMM is also water-cooled. You can see the water inlet and outlet lines right here. This is the starter motor connected to the flywheel. It's also designed to allow for an easy transfer to a tiller operation. Take out two bolts and lay in your cabling. Even the neutral cutoff is built into the main engine. Looking at the lower unit, we see the skeg designed for protecting the prop and adding directional stability. The sacrificial zinc for corrosion protection and just behind is the water dump. Over here are your water intakes. So that's our look at the performance and features of the Evinrude E-Tech 50. For Boatest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.